Hey what's up guys this is 3D Bonfire back with another amazing tutorial and this time I want to show you how you can create this beautiful abstract underwater plants with the cloth engine in Cinema 4D 2023 and maybe you want to combine the beautiful logo I did it with this Chanel here but maybe you want to put an Adidas Nike Converse your own logo something cool into it and then you have some beautiful animation and put it on Instagram and get famous it's just so simple all right so we will learn this technique on how to create these assets and of course if you have one asset simulated then you can use it as instances in your scene and then you will have a really complex underwater scene already we will learn how to build it but just be sure the making it beautiful part the material and the lighting and the art direction this will all be on my patreon and when i talk about my patreon in the night tier right now in march 2023 you will still get a 100 discount code for the modular design kit with 50 and more elements on my gumroad shop so if you are fast and subscribe until the end of march 2023 you will get this one with your membership all right and just if you want to learn more of the good stuff then my patreon is always a good place for you but if you just want to support me on youtube it would be amazing if you subscribe to my channel ring the bell leave a comment that would be amazing because i love to answer your comments and it is just so nice to interact with you so that would be a great help this is me on instagram Marcus Gonza 3D and if I forgot to mention it I was inspired by Lucas Forup's tutorial Balloon Grass you can see this one it's a great tutorial but obviously I gave it my own twist and use a slightly different technique all right so enough of the introduction let's just dive into Cinema 4D and have some fun finally in Cinema 4D and you can see that I already have a cash scene here it's simulated and it is moving beautifully but of course we want to start from scratch so I would say you just put a disc in your scene let's just put this one to 16 elements and always be sure that you simulate something that is in a reasonable scale that's why I put this figure into my scene to just see my plant in comparison to a human figure let's just say this plant will be something like 400 in size and maybe we will give it a radius like 3 all right or maybe 2.5 now let's think about the segments and I think 16 in the rotation is good enough let's just crank up the height segments maybe 250 all right so maybe even 280 let's just be a bit more generous here and don't be shy to put more segments into it maybe even 100 that's good and you know what i want to just create a second capsule here let's make this one smaller and let's put it on the floor you could also press f4 to go to the side view and just put this one next to each other i try to align it here to the floor just a little bit levitating over the disc here on the floor all right we could just duplicate this one by control dragging the capsule and maybe this one is something like 350 okay so i think this is good enough and i would say three is already enough to have some fun maybe we press f2 to go to the top view nb to show the lines and maybe i will just duplicate these ones into a beautiful pattern here something like this maybe i will select all of them duplicate them one more time and put it like this for example make this one thicker this one could also be thicker all right let's do it like this and some of them which are really narrow okay so we could do it like this and i would say this would be enough so now you select all of them go to the simulation tags and i just want to pin this in my layout here and let's just put a cloth tag on all of them press ctrl d to go to the project settings go to simulation and then you will see we have some gravity in the scene so when i will just press play here then all of them will fall through the floor so if you want to enhance the simulation slightly make it interesting make it just a bit better then you could go to the disc here and put a collider on it now all of these capsules will collide with the floor but this is definitely not what we want we want to have them levitate more towards the top of our scene right so they should shouldn't fall down they should be really lightweight and therefore I would say press ctrl d again go to the simulation and let's just say we have a positive gravity so now they will levitate all right this is also not what we want we want to pin them to the floor and therefore I will go to the disc and put a connector onto it and now this one should be 
connected but we are missing one last thing i think it will help when you put a cloth onto it because i think you can only connect cloth to cloth objects so this is why i want to say that this disc will not be cloth but it will be rigid therefore you go to mix animation and pin it with pins so now it is still a cloth object but it is pinned 100 to its position now you can see the capsule is still flying and this one will be pinned to the position and now we want to combine all of these capsules with the connect object to the disk let's just increase the radius here the search radius for this connect object and let's just create these connections and now you can see all of these connection lines you could also put this one to 20 now the radius will be bigger and you will have more connections here so it's not really that important you can leave it on 20 you can go to 10 you can even go to 30 if you want to just feel a bit more safe here with the connections and now when i would simulate this one then they will be connected to the floor okay still the most boring simulation ever so let's just go to simulation put a turbulence into the scene let's put this one to maybe 50 with a strength of 20 and let's just see what will happen all right and there you already have a simulation okay it is definitely going into the right direction but what i don't like is that these cylinders feel like they are really empty inside of it okay so they shouldn't fold like this this is why i will select all of them go to balloon and set this one maybe to two let's check the simulation one more time and now hopefully they will not be as empty as before so it is better but we could still go to the surface maybe i only want to have one bendiness and when i press ctrl d one more time then you could go to the simulation settings and for example you can put some damping into the scene let's try it with 10 this will just suck out a little bit of the energy and now slowly we are getting there right so this is already quite a believable result for an underwater plant of course you can combine different turbulences here so for example you could use another turbulence here with a smaller scale put this one to 20 and then the noise pattern will be even more interesting and slowly you will get some beautiful plants all right and when you just spend some more time with it and combine it with beautiful lighting art direction and for example a chanel logo then you will already have a beautiful piece for your portfolio okay so i hope this was useful for you think about my patreon if you want to learn more of the good stuff thank you so much for your time leave a comment be awesome bye everyone